I in no way cannot afford Laura Mercier's lipstick, at least not right now, because your girl is not falling like that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Lipstick Swatch family. If you have been with me, I thank you for your continued support. My name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. So in today's video, I will be swatching another lip set. This one is from Laura Mercier. It's the Velour Seduction Lip Duet that comes in this gorgeous red box. To be honest, I don't think I've swatched anything from Laura Mercier before. If I have, I'm gonna try and find a video, but I doubt I have swatched anything from Laura Mercier. Um, so, I think it's just because it's not in my budget, it's not in my price range. Just like the YSL that I did uh, a week ago, I only got that because it was a mini set like this one. This is actually a mini set of two lipsticks. Um, I don't recall what the price was, but it was definitely something that I could afford for a mini lipstick. All right, so it comes in this red packing paper. Oh, wow, straight in the trash. One of the lipsticks landed in the trash and I hope that's not a sign. All right. I can find it here. I got it out. So let's resume our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Alright, so these are the two lippies from Laura Mercier. This one, it's a red and like a berry tone color. So two mini lip crayons. So I will start with this berry looking tone. What is this called? This one is called Fresh. Okay, and just for information, these are 0.42 grams. Okay, so it's not a lot, but I think it's just enough for us to try and see if Laura Mercier is something that we would want to continue buying. So you don't have to go spend all your money and then you'll find out that you really didn't like the formula or really didn't like the product. So. So let me give you the close up. And then the hand swatch. Wow, what a formula. That feels like cloud, it's so smooth. And it felt weightless already. What a formula. All right, now it's the test, the true test. I like this formula. And so far, I like the application. So the way this lip crayon is structured, it's so easy to move with the contour of your lips. I noticed that immediately. Wow. That's really nice. And I don't smell anything, so that's a good sign as well. This feels so good. The color is the color is beautiful. Like I really like it. It feels so good. It's like, is it a matte? Does it say? Let me 
find out more information about this. So it's a pigment pack color explosion of full coverage matte intensity. So it is a matte finish, but it feels like a creamy matte lipstick that's weightless and just overall comfortable. That's like my first impression. So that's all it says here on the box, but I feel like it's way more, I feel like that description does not give it justice. It just feels so good on the lips and I'm not even exaggerated. And the color is amazing. It's like a subtle type of berry because there are darker berries and this is more on like the lighter shades of berries that I really like. And I think it really does complement my skin tone as well. Gosh, this feels so good on my lips right now. Wow. I like it. It's such a gorgeous color. And let's see if it's going to transfer real quick. Nothing. Nothing. I like it. There is nothing. But let me see how much product we actually get in here. I know, like I said, it's zero point something grams. 0 0.4. Listen. Listen. I think that's a really decent size for a mini lipstick. This is going to last a pretty long time, so I think it's definitely worth it. I love this color. If you guys are liking this color, make sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up because I don't even want to take this color off. That's how much I'm liking it right now. But go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Now that I am highly satisfied with this color, what was it called again? Fresh? Yeah. I can't wait to try the next shade, which looks like a red lipstick. So, we are moving right along with the program. All right, so... This shade is called Dominate. And here you have the red lipstick there. Time for a hand swatch. So it's looking more like a cherry red from what I see in front of me, um, but we'll see more or less what color it looks like on my lips. Okay. One thing though, it's hard for me to be mad at a red lipstick. I just love a good red lip. And I find I find myself wearing a lot more red lips this year. It's crazy. Like I recently had the NARS Don't Stop red lipstick on. That lasted me like 10 hours. I think I put a live video on my Instagram because I was so impressed again with NARS and it's such a pigmented lipstick and I feel like I would get the same results with the Laura Mercier lipstick that I got with NARS it's just that these feel a little bit more creamy compared to the NARS liquid lip as a matter of fact, I 
don't think I can compare the two because the NARS one was a liquid lip and this is more of a traditional lipstick in the form of a crayon so I really can't compare the two but I am not mad at this lipstick only thing about a red lipstick if you mess up only way you can truly clean it up is with a concealer but we're not about to do all of that tonight so if it looks sloppy just give me a break okay guys give me a break trying to think if I have anything that's like a cherry red that's in this form of like a traditional lipstick I don't think I do but either way I think this color I don't know if I get dominate vibes from it I would feel like dominate really when I hear dominate I think about like a fiery red where I am not getting a fiery red from this lipstick like I always say I am all game for a red lipstick because you can just never go wrong with a red lipstick it takes a little time to get to that comfort level but once you're there it's gonna feel like you're wearing a nude lipstick this one is called dominate I like it it's definitely statement making and it's something that I will definitely keep around. So give me a big thumbs up if you think Dominate is really dominating. Get it? <laughs> that was so corny. See how I threw that in there? Okay, give me a thumbs up if you like it. All right, so what do I think of the Laura Mercier Velour Seduction Lip Duet? It's freaking amazing. It's really good. I love the formula, guys. These lipsticks are so pigmented. And I'm just, I keep falling in love with this red lipstick. It's just, I like it a lot the first one too like it's hard to choose between the two of them but I love me a good red lipstick the formula is amazing I noticed that the way the crayon is built as well it makes it for easy contouring to get around the corners of your lips and the natural contour of your lip so it makes your application more precise and um yeah it just makes for a more precise application and just ease of use which i always look for with a lipstick as well because there's nothing worse than struggling to apply your lipstick because you know it's too soft or the the packaging is just not right you can't get to your lips as easily as you would like or create coverage as easily as you would like so I love the design of the packaging and I love that it makes everything super easy. Also, the coverage is great. The pigment is great. I can tell that this will last me a very long time and it barely transfers. The first one, barely anything. I don't think I did this one. Let me try this one. You can see slightly that it's still there but that could be because it's not like fully dry who knows but I can tell that it's going to be long-lasting I can feel it it feels comfortable like I can tell it's going to be a comfortable long-lasting lipstick because when I like if I smile it doesn't feel like my lips are dry you know that feeling you get when you kind of smile or laugh and just feel the lipstick in the cracks of your lips and everything I don't get that feeling at all it feels creamy so I know it's gonna wear comfortably throughout the day so I would 
definitely recommend this. I mean, like I said, I in no way cannot afford Laura Mercier's lipstick, at least not right now, because your girl is not balling like that. So I think her lipsticks range from like, I would say $30 or more, but I got this set for way less than that and I think it's definitely worth it. I don't remember how much, but it was way less than that. I can probably find out, but that might take too long. But if you're like me and you're trying to scrape some coins, then you might want to try her mini lipstick set. I would definitely say go for it. Definitely worth it. So this one is a keeper. But that's all I got for you today. If you guys like this video, make sure to go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Bing! Because I do not know how else you're going to know whenever I post a video. You're just going to have to miss out or ask your friend or ask your auntie or your uncle because there is no other way for me to tell you. you got to click that bell. And if you want to see more lipstick sets videos or gift sets, then yeah, make sure that you, you go ahead and click that bell so you never miss out on any of my future uploads. By the way, this nail polish I'm wearing is from London Town. It's their Jane Austen lipstick. I can leave a link for you in the description below if you're interested. Some of my favorite nail polishes. But that's all I got, guys. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in my next lipstick swatch video. Bye.